All right, this is Josh Rubin from East West Sailing and Performance. Today, I am feeling tired. I, uh, I've been teaching a five-day course with Paul Check at the Check Institute. He's the exercise coach. There's about 40 students in there. So it ended last night around 7 o'clock. You know, so it's five days of a 8 to 6 or 7 o'clock class. Just a little fatigued. Uh, might sound like I'm complaining, but um, I am because I'm tired. But today, we're going to talk about sleep insomnia. So many people have trouble sleeping. Or they can fall asleep and they can't stay asleep. Or they can't fall asleep. And then when they fall asleep, you know, it's 2, 3 in the morning, they get to get up at 6. Or people have just crazy rhythms of sleep. They go to bed at 2, get up at 5. They go to bed at 2, they get up at noon. Or vice versa, they go to bed early and get up at 2, 3 in the morning. So I'm going to give you some insight on what can actually cause sleep deprivation and sleep problems. Give you some action items. Of course, there's a lot more to go over than what I'm posting in this YouTube clip. But it's just to give you some insight because sleep... When it comes to all the foundational principles that I teach people, sleep is probably the cheapest one where you can get the most bang for your buck. Because physically, we actually repair and regenerate from 10 to 2 a.m. Okay, so we, we repair physically, we regenerate, and that's when our body actually heals. And then from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m., our body heals psychologically. Okay, so... That's why a lot of people that maybe stay up late but go to bed and get up early actually mentally are still there, but physically they're very catabolic and they look like shit, plain and simple. Okay? And these, not to judge, but you know, I used to work with a lot of engineers and most stay up late. Then they go to bed, they get psychological repair, and they get up early, but their bodies are just completely catabolic. They're wasting away, they have bellies, they got bags under their eyes, and, you know, and they can't exert any energy, but here they can exert energy. Okay, so sleep is very important because that actually can help regulate our hormone levels. Okay, um, so what actually can contribute to sleep? Well, you see a lot of people nowadays having what's called restless leg syndrome. You see this on TV. It's quite common. Their legs jump during the night. Maybe when they fall asleep, they twitch. Okay, what causes restless leg syndrome or that anxiety feeling um, or uncomfortable feeling, feeling like you're plugged in when you go to bed? Well, my first assumption or my feeling is from knowing the body is dehydration. Most people don't drink enough water. Most people are drinking juices, sugar water, milk, you know, these, these energy drinks and coffee which dehydrate us, okay? So if you're not drink, drinking enough water, the interesting thing is people think the first place that your body actually steals water from when you're dehydrated is your stool. It's actually the second place. The first place your body steals water from is the central nervous system. So from my experience, if the central nervous system is dehydrated, the way I look at it, it's almost like it's on fire. It's plugged in. It's never going to cool down. Okay? So one of the reasons people have restless leg syndrome, and I'm not diagnosing, but I'm telling you from experience, one of the things I've done with people, I do many, but one of the things I do is increase their water intake and decrease substances that dehydrate them. From, like I said, sugar water, which is all these juices and energy drinks, caffeine, coffee, uh, preservatives, additives, refined foods, all these things dehydrate the body. So increase your water intake slowly over a one to three month period. Try to work up to half your body weight in ounces a day. Okay. Another thing is detoxification with the nervous system. A lot of the times when you're eating a lot of what we call the crap diet, which can stand for two things, coffee or caffeine, refined processed foods, aspartame and pasteurized milk, or um, conventional foods, refined foods, additives, and preservatives. Okay, All these things cause toxic buildup in the body. And when the body needs to detoxify it, the nervous system can leach certain nutrients that wake it up in a sense. So if your body is detoxifying for any reason, whether you start eating organic food or you go to Bikram Yoga or you go to sauna or you're doing a cleanse, the reason why you might have trouble sleeping is because your body's detoxifying, and a lot of these substances are, um, they affect the nervous system. You know, if you look at most pesticides, they're neurotoxins. They affect the nervous system of animals and bugs. So, of course, they're going to affect the nervous system in you, and when you detox from them, they can actually shock your nervous system and keep you up. So, that's another reason. Another reason that people have trouble sleep is altered cortisol levels in the body. Typically, cortisol levels, which is an awakening hormone, goes up around 6 to 9 a.m., okay, starts to level off around noon, and then starts to go down, and from 6 to 9, completely levels off, and then from 9 to 10, all your repair and regeneration hormones come up, 
okay? So how do you get altered cortisol um, or circadian rhythms? Well, this can happen from altered food intake, altered sleep patterns, um, altered food quality and quantity, um, stress from, you know, financial reasons or uh, emotional reasons. We could go on and on and on. But all these things cause altered cortisol levels in the body and cause altered sleep problems. So we look at sleep as the issue, but sleep is actually the branch. Okay, don't look at sleep as the, the root of the problem. It's altered hormonal levels in the body. Okay. A third thing is, is food. Most people go through the day, they're eating mostly carbohydrates, refined carbohydrates, box foods, sugars, energy drinks. And if you look at most people's diets, they're not eating enough protein and fat. So one, sugar stimulates insulin, stimulates cortisol in the body. So cortisol is an awakening hormone. If cortisol does not come down at night, you're not going to sleep. Okay? Caffeine in the body has a half-life of six hours. So if you drink a cup of coffee at 12 o'clock, it's still in your body at midnight, and it's going to keep you up. Coffee stimulates cortisol, and it's caffeine as well. Same thing with sugar. So these things actually will not help you sleep. Okay? So if you're drinking in these things or you're eating a lot of refined carbohydrates and sugar, you need to cut back on them. The other thing is altered protein and fat intake, or not enough, if we look at, not to get technical, the nerves in your body, right, this is your nerve, they're actually wrapped in a sheath that's proteolipid. That means protein and fat. They insulate the nervous system, okay, just like you have insulation in your house. So if you're not eating enough protein and fat, your nervous system doesn't have enough proteolipid, you know, saran wrap around it, which affects the nervous system and it's more susceptible to dysfunction. So from my perspective, what I do from an Eastern philosophy is I look at it, it have is, fat is very grounding. It pulls you down. It's heavy. So I'll have clients at night, depending on the person and the time, eat qual good quality fats like cheese and avocado and apple or nut butter and apple, you know, to actually pull them down and sedate them, but also on the Western side of it, help support the nervous system, Okay. So these are the, some of the things that can affect sleep. Some other things that can affect sleep, from my perspective, other things that I look at is insomnia. And from a Chinese perspective, if you can't get to sleep, but when you fall asleep, you sleep good, this is a heart, what's called a heart-blood deficiency. Right? If you have light sleep and you wake frequently, this is called a kidney yin deficiency. If you have a lot of dreams and it disturbs your sleep, this is called liver or heart fire. Okay? If you wake early in the morning, you know, and you don't want to wake early and you can't get back to sleep, this is what they call in Chinese medicine gallbladder deficiency. If you're sleepy after eating, this is called a spleen deficiency. We could keep going on and on and on. But the bottom line is what I'm saying is beside working with your practitioner, I always refer to a Chinese medicine practitioner for herbs as well as acupuncture to help on the eastern side of it. Okay, because what we're really trying to do is balance out yin and yang in the body, balance out the chemicals. We're trying to balance out the anabolic, okay, which is the yang, and the catabolic, which is the yin, okay, substance in the body. We're trying to wax and wane them so there's a balance, okay. So what are the, some, some of the things you can do to help with sleep? Regulate your food quality. Eat organic foods. Drink water, okay. Two, try to dim the night's at, try to dim the lights in your house at night. Stay away from computers. Stay away from TVs. They flicker and they stimulate cortisol in the body, which will keep you awake. Okay. Try meditating. Listen to light music before you're going to bed. Another thing you can do to help is eat more protein and fats, good fats and organic proteins in your diet and cut back on the amount of sugar and refined processed foods and carbohydrates to help regulate that yin and yang or the protein, fats, and carbohydrates in your body. Okay. Um, another thing you do is get your adrenal glands checked to see what your cortisol rhythms are so you can help regulate it with certain herbs like rhodiola um, and licorice root as well as, as well as other bioidentical hormones. We could keep going on and on, but here we at East West Healing, we pretty much individualize why someone's having trouble sleeping. So hopefully we have enlightened you. If you want to learn more information, please go to our website at eastwesthealing.com or feel free to give us a call to set up a free consultation or learn more about our company and what we do. Thank you.